Okay, I am going to take a look at wireless mic setup. Now I'm recording with a iPhone XR. Now that I finally figured out how to get videos off of it onto my computer that I can edit with. So uh, <clears throat> right now I'm using the sound off of the XR and in a little while I will transfer to uh, this, which is a two transmitter, one receiver, uh, wireless lapel microphone. Um, it is a Zeal sound. Um, recommended for podcast, vlog, live streaming, and conference. Um, it has a lightning connector for uh, iPhones and a USB-C connector for the newer, I think the newer iPhones have a USB-C connector and a um, Androids. So it has a 20 meter range, uh, precise radio, clear tone, ultra sensitive, wide compatibility. Uh, this came from Timu, so let's take a look at it. Now, I've already taken this out and charged it. Um, it's a USB-C charger, 5 volt, 1 amp. Uh, these are the units. Um, Let's see, let's get the stuff out here. There are um, little mops, or I, I don't know what you call them, uh, mic covers maybe, uh, that go on the ends, and I recommend using those because I have used this for sound. And it is, um, I, I have COPD, and so my breathing's kinda heavy, and that helps muffle it. We'll see how well. Um, there's one for each transmitter, but we only need uh, one transmitter. Uh, this is like a little lanyard. Uh, I guess this would go on the, let's see, the transmitter, some which away. Maybe you just, I don't know. Or maybe it goes on the lapel mic. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the instructions, and it really doesn't that big a deal to me. It's not something I'd be using. Uh, that's the charger. USB-A to USB-C. And then here is a uh, plug for being able to connect it to um, a real camera or a Android, which usually has that special little connector, which I will wind up having to use. This one. So I'll have to set it up when I actually use it with this. And that'll be my configuration when I actually put it in my phone. And reason being is because uh, I have a case on my phone and with the case on my phone I don't think that is going to go far enough into the case to connect but I'll let you know when I'm using it so that uh, we can check that out uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use this this get up here these by the way don't come with the the um, lapel mic it's just some stuff that I had okay so um, you have a USB-C connector on this side, which you can charge this independently. That's the power button. You have two lights here, which shows the two different uh, lapel mics that were, when they're connected. It's just one light on if one's connected, both if both's connected. I guess so you can like do an interview with somebody or something like that. Uh, contacts, when you set it in the case, the case, it only goes in the case one way. It won't, it won't seat the right way so if you put it in the case this way it automatically starts charging if the battery is down a little bit uh, and here's the three and a half millimeter 
connector for the adapter. All right, and so each individual transmitter, this is a receiver, also has a independent USB-C charge port as well as, and I don't know if that'll do that. I have to, to look if that'll, you can actually connect a cable into that and I don't know, use this as a microphone on your computer or something. I'm not sure. Uh, there's your contacts for charging. And again, it can't go in the wrong way. It can only go in one way. This is a duplicate of this one. So I'm just gonna take this and set it off to the side because it's not gonna be needed at the moment. I'll just set it right there. And on the lapel portion, the transmitter, you have a power button that turns it on and you have a button marked M, which I'm willing to bet you means mute, where you can mute it. So uh, just for giggles, let's turn it on. Okay, it's blinking back and forth, waiting on a connection. Uh, power this on and we have a connection now just as a example we power the other one on and they're both connected so let's turn that one off We'll turn this off and we'll turn this off. Now your mop or uh, cover has a little hole in the middle that matches up to the, the speaker and it only goes on one way. You have a cutout that faces back towards the clip and this right here will literally just clip into place and there you go kind of reminds me of uh, my wife doesn't wear makeup so I can't say her makeup brush but them 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 things that a lot of women use to put I don't know stuff on makeup of some sort anyway so uh, we're gonna get this connected and see oops and uh, see uh, see how it does okay so we're back uh hopefully we are transmitting sound using the uh lapel mic uh should be a sound difference uh if and I, I i was able to plug it in without using this but i'm not sure if it's got a good connection so um if this is not transmitting or the sound isn't picking up through this which you can tell because the sound is better um i'll switch over to this so right now it's without the cover and I'm fixing to hit the M button. Okay, so now I'm talking. I'm still talking with the M button pressed. I just pressed the M button again. So if it's a, if it is a mute, then you didn't hear part of what I just said. All right, let me put the mop on there. I keep calling this a mop, but... I guess it's just a cover. Okay, so uh, there we are with the transmitter on. Uh, it's plugged into the bottom of the phone. Everything seems to be good. So we're going to check this video out, uh, check the sound, and see how things look. And uh, if it's not making good connection, then you'll see me come back again with this. Otherwise, uh, you'll be watching this video. Thank you, and God bless. Okay, we're back. So, apparently, the connection is good into the bottom of the iPhone XR, and I did not tell you accurately. So now, I've got manual out, which I do not read manuals very often so now we're going to find out what the real deal is pickle okay so i was wrong and right at the same time so you have the power button 
which I've already showed you. But the other button, button mark M, is a function button. So a single click turns noise reduction on. A double click turns on and off mute. And a long press turns reverb on and off. So I'm going to start with a single click. And I'm not sure if there's any difference in anything, but that was a single click. And so now I'm going to do a double click. Click again, and let's see, maybe it's solid, so I believe it's uh, picking up sound again. So we're going to do a long press and see what happens. Okay, it's, I don't know if it's doing anything or not, but we're going to do a long press again. And I guess it should be back to normal. So, uh, again, uh, when I did a single click, it just blinked, so I guess that turns noise reduction on. Then a double click, it starts flashing, so I assumed that was on mute and you didn't hear what I said. Then a double click again, and it's back off mute. And a long press, and it flashes on and off, and I guess that was reverb. I don't know, we'll find out and uh, a long press again and I assume that turned that off so let's give this a shot and see how it turns out uh, there's also be a uh, Timu link in the description uh, that helps me out with Timu somehow <laughs> I'm not really sure but uh, if you click on it that'd be great alright thank you guys God bless.